Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Joe from Home Studio Corner. And I got a video today, uh, not actually what I had planned. I was going to do a video on MIDI, but uh, one of my readers wrote in about Quick Punch, wanted to know a little bit more about that, and I thought that's a great topic for a video. Now, if you're familiar with punching in in general, uh, even back to analog tape days where you would punch in on a particular track, say you had a, a vocal take, and it was flawless, but there's maybe one or two spots that could be better you would just go in and punch in those specific spots. And it's punching in by itself was an art form on analog tape. Now, with, with digital audio workstations like Pro Tools, you can really just get in there and select your, your punch in and punch out spots uh, as, you know, as close as you want. You can zoom in and select exactly where you want it to start and stop. And so it's not as big of an issue now. But um, in the past you couldn't do that. So that's one of the big benefits of punching in here. But Quick Punch actually takes that a step further and allows you to um, actually kind of idiot-proof the whole punching in process. So I'm going to show that to you. We've got a track here, and uh, this is actually a... Um, I'm going to play back a little bit of my album that I'm working on. So if you haven't downloaded my EP, there's a little live EP that I put out uh, earlier this month. Uh, definitely check that out. This is one of the songs from that, but obviously with the full band behind it. So um, I'm going to come in here and do a quick vocal take and then go in and do some punches over that and show you some of the different features. So uh, here we go. Can somebody help me find myself? I see somebody else. <coughs> All right, the throat's hurting. Excellent. Okay, so we've got two little lines here. And let's say the second one we weren't all that happy with, and we want to punch that in. Well, we can come in, and we can just select it. And uh, then we can come up here, and if we zoom in, we can set our pre-roll and post-roll. So let's just say five seconds of each. So that's not 50. Okay. So that's the amount of time before and after the punch in that we're going to allow. And we can just let Pro Tools automatically do the punch for us. We, uh, we select our spot and then we come in and we record it. So we're just going to hit record. So. When I look, I see somebody else. Now, what I've done here, you may have noticed, and might have been freaking out a little bit, that I didn't select this all the way to the end. Well, that's typically something that may happen. You may just select it wrong, or maybe you're manually punching it in, and you're, you're just hitting record at the spots where the punch-ins need to happen, and you punched out a little early. And the downside here is I can't. If you notice here, I'm clicking and trying to draw out this region. I can shorten it, but I can't extend it out at all. So we end up with a region that's chopped off. I see somebody else. So it just so happened that those two ended up sounding okay together. Um, but in, most times it wouldn't, and we'd have to redo the, the, the punch in. So not a big deal, but let's take a look at another way to do this. We'll bring this back and heal that region. Okay, let's try punch in again. And this time we're just going to enable quick punch. And the way we do that is come up right here. If you can see that, it's just quick punch. And you'll notice that the little record button has a P on there now. So what that lets us do is we can hit play and simply just by clicking the record button, put ourselves in and out of record. So as you can see here. So we can punch in wherever we want, hence the name quick punch. You can just punch in and punch out. But there's another very cool thing about that that I'm going to show you. So uh, we'll do this again and I'm going to actually accidentally um, start recording a little too soon, or a little too late, and uh, we'll show you what happens. When I look, I see somebody else. Okay, so you can see Idiot Engineer didn't, uh, didn't do the punch quick enough, so now it's all disjointed. Okay, so there's two different levels, and that's all doesn't sound right. But the beauty of Quick Punch, which a lot of people may not know, is it's actually recording that entire time. 
I only hit the record button during this section here, but it was indeed actually recording. And that's what I was talking about earlier about idiot proofing this system. So now I missed the punch by a good, you know, a good phrase of that first word, but all I have to do is pull it back and that's the actual take. So you can see if I pull this back, it was recording from way back here when I started when I first hit play when quick punch was enabled. Now that is wicked cool. So now as you can hear when I look, I see somebody else. So what was once possibly just a screwed up punch is now doable and all we have to do is pull that back. So quick punch is very cool, especially if you're an engineer. And if you're a performer, like most of you are probably like me, you're recording yourself doing your own thing. Um, it's nice to be able to punch in like that and have that backup. But particularly if you're recording somebody else, uh, Quick Punch is just an invaluable tool. So hopefully that explains it well. If you have any questions, leave a comment on the blog, homestudiocorner.com, and I'll be back around later this week with some more videos. Thanks. Bye.